what's your plan after your career okay Yo, what's cracking my dudes? Welcome back to another vlog. Holy shit, views are popping right now on YouTube. Thank you for all your views and comments. And as you guys all know, I'm still injured with my knee, but I finally learned how to walk again. So let's check that progression out first. Yeah, that feels good, finally able to walk again without pain, bye bye crutches. But now, let's dive into today's video. A lot of you have been commenting that they want to see how my rehab looks like, so I'm going to show you a whole day of my rehab. I make myself breakfast. There was a question if I care about my nutrition. Yes, I do. For breakfast, I eat brown bread, healthier than white. Then I add cottage cheese and avocado. This is a perfect and healthy breakfast for an athlete because with the brown bread you have carbohydrates, then with the cottage cheese you have protein and with the avocado you have healthy fat. Now I will show you my whole rehab plan and that's what it looks like. First of all I go walking on the treadmill. It's a very special treadmill because it makes you wait less so you can go there and start earlier to walk again because it's not full body weight. I do this for 25 minutes. Then I move on with an easy bike sesh. I had problems in the beginning with biking because it was a little bit too much for my knee but it's getting better and better. I do this also for 25 minutes. Really important that I don't lose my muscles on my right leg because I can't train it really hard right now. I have an electronic device which makes your muscle tense that I don't lose my muscles and after that I have a meeting with the personal trainer for 45 minutes so he checks what I can do and he also shows me new exercises which I am doing throughout the week. The most chill part I have physio where I just lie around for 25 minutes and I get a massage and they check my knee. As soon as I finish my physio session, I do the physio exercises and they are only for my right knee because I still have troubles to straighten perfect my knee. So I really work on this another 25 minutes. Then I go to the water therapy another 45 minutes. It's a totally different therapy where you do different exercises, but it's fun and luckily the water is not too cold which is nice i have physio again but this time the doctor is coming for a visit and he checks my knee if everything is all right and he's such a cool dude i think his son is watching my vlogs cheers to him then finally food it's time for lunch mostly i am too lazy to cook by myself and i'm too bad so i just go to a restaurant and eat something there after that, I go to my apartment and I do sometimes like a 20 minutes power nap. And after the power nap, it's time again for a 25 minutes bike sesh. The bike sesh is followed by knee exercises. Again, 45 minutes for my knee. The exercises are not exhausting, but they are really, really important for my knee to heal. Never skip leg day. I go to the leg press for 25 minutes. I still can't go too hard because of my knee, you know. But it's a different leg press. It works with air pressure and you have, you have a screen where you have to follow a line. And if you thought leg press is the most important, you are wrong. Now, I do core exercises even more important for my six pack, you know. Last but not least, I do a cool down with the electronic device. It makes my muscle relax and mostly I listen to very calm music and I almost sleep. Last one, you all know it, guess it? Yes, stretching. I still can't stretch perfect because of my sprained ligament, so I have to take it easy, but I do this for another 30 minutes. 
and after that I am finally finished. This is how I basically train every single day in my rehab, six to seven hours. And now I'd say let's move on to the question I will answer. Let's start with the first one. Do a video telling what's your favorite skiing movie clip to watch Gandhid or Woods' blog or matchstick stuff all in. Get better dude, you're a legend. First of all, thank you. And um, my favorite movie is for sure Teddy Bear Crisis. It's a very old movie, but I've watched that movie every time before I went skiing when I was younger with the dream to be a professional skier one day. Now, look, here I am, professional free skier. Yeah, guys, always believe in your dreams. This video is super inspiring. You are amazing. Can't wait for you to get better. Questions. What music do you listen to? I have to say, I really like the charts and I listen to every music. I don't have a special kind. At the moment, my favorite song is All the Stars from Kendrick Lamar. When is your merch coming out? You all know it. March, in one month. What is your fan base name? Yo, good question. I still don't know. I don't know. AR Squad, Air Squad, Logetli Squad, Logetlis. Let me know in the comments what our squad should be called if you have a new name. Let me know, comment. This question is in Swiss German, but I already saw it before in English. Nochmal ein Versuch, was hast du für den Plan nach der Karriere? Which means in English, what's your plan after your career? Okay, I'm a person who plans everything, even if it's just a normal day. I know what I will do at which time. And the same thing comes with my career. I'm now 20 years young and I have at least 10 more years as a professional free skier. That's what I hope. And I will only focus for those next 10 years and will work my ass off. And after that, in 10 years, I see what I achieved and then I can move on to the next chapter. I hope that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's how I would answer that question. But now it's time to end my vlog with my body right here. Make sure to subscribe and join our squad. Still looking for a squad name. Make sure to comment down below if you have an idea. And also like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.